Right, hello, welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a cheap £10 multi-fuel stove. Now I say multi-fuel because you can burn wood in it if you want, or you can use some gel stuff if I can find it. So today I've got Fire Dragon gel to burn in it. You can use the meth spirits as well if you want, or whatever else you can use to burn. I don't know meth spirits to be truthful. Yeah, so it's a £10 stove. And how you use the uh, gel in it is, you get a little tray. It comes in this pretty cheap bag. You know, it's a £10 stove. It's not going to come in out fancy, is it, really? So, yeah, you can get this sort of like an ashtray-looking sort of thing. You put your uh, gel in that, or your meth spirit in that. One. Two. Three, four, then you get your five. Well, your fifth one, sorry, not your five. So it's pretty small and it? it's not fantastic. Now, I will be honest, it is a bit of a pain to get together. So, what I'm going to do is I'll get a side and the, uh, I think, yeah, we'll get the front and the side and we'll just lock that in there. And then we'll get another side what will be that way you got to be careful because you can see some are pointing up the slots and other slots are pointing down so you do have to do it in sync with each other because it's just not going to fit if you don't and then we need to get your little ashtray at the bottom slot that in place and then what to do then is if you're going to use the gel you need to put your little ball in it like so then the back becomes really tricky to do so you got to turn it round if I don't drop it so you see how these ones are pointing down there and these ones are pointing up you've got to match it really well so that's gonna be wrong that's gonna be right so you need to click it together it is probably one of the most fiddliest stoves I've had and that's me being honest about a piece of equipment but like I've already said it is a £10 cheap stove it's not ever going to be all fantastic is it and I can't there we go I was going to say I can't get it in but I did so like harder like harder like harder like harder Licada. I think it's Licada. So first impressions, it has, you know, some sharp edges on these here. But like I've said once or twice, really, it's a £10 stove. We can't be expecting anything fantastic really, can we? You know what? Let's give it a try. We'll get some of the dragon fire or fire dragon in it. And then we'll see how that goes. And afterwards... We'll just set fire to it, fill it with sticks or twigs, and we'll see how it goes, eh? Right, so there we go. So we'll put some in. I'm really unsure how much to put in this. I've never really used this stuff before. You can get your lighter. Yeah, I tell you what, that's not bad. That's burning better than I thought it was going to do. Yeah, the heat's there as well. Yeah, not bad. Right, so now we're going to give it a fire test. Just stick one of them blocks in there. Oh, it's a nice dark screen in it there. Now right, stick some wood in it. It doesn't have an ashtray in it. I know I've said it once or twice. It's got the air vent tray at the bottom. But the bottom ashtray, what catches all the ash, it doesn't have one in. 
But you know what, like I've already said a few times, cheap £10 stove. I really don't expect it to be working brilliant at all. I've everything in it as I'd like. I like it to be a little bit more balanced. Like so. Right, so first of all, my impressions, you know, I quite like the stove, actually. I like the big door here, or the window, whatever you like to call it. I call it a feeding door. I really like the size of that. I like the way the brand name lights up with the fire at the bottom. Can you cook on it? I'm not 100% sure, you know. I think this is going to be like the uh, stove below this video. I'll let you see that yourself. I think it might be a bit too small to cook on, but absolutely great to boil some water on. Right, so what I mean by you can't cook on it, you could cook on it. All I'm saying is, because it's a small stove, you'd be forever sticking decent pieces of wood in it to keep the heat continuously going. To boil some water when you're on the go, absolutely perfect. You could cook on it. I'll tell you what we'll do. Later on down the line, we'll come out and we'll try to do a bit of cooking on it as well. And then we know if it is good enough. But from my past experience with small stoves, I think keeping the heat in it and keeping the fire going, well as trying to cook some it, I think it's gonna be a bit of hard work. But you can always let me know in the comments below yourself so I know where your thoughts are on the little stoves idea as well. Right, so I'm losing the light really quick. I've been having to let it cool down a little bit. There's a bit of a buckle going on with the heat it's about 0 0.5 0 0.6 thickness so it's not even a mil 0.5 is half a mil so it's it's a cheap 10 pound stove but i like it my honest review is i do like it i think the top tray what's just been over here burning rest of stuff off is a brilliant idea i like that i didn't think i would but i do like that I like it. Like I say, cheap ten pound, and it's quite impressed me. <laughs> it's amazing. Right, I'm gonna get myself off. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on for another stove review.